Hi, I'm Mark Winchester at Winchester Metalworks, and today we're going to talk about welding thick aluminum to thin aluminum. The parts I build in my shop, a lot of time I'm welding quarter inch to 090. So part of the struggle is getting too much heat input into the 090 and, and starting to burn back the 090 and not actually penetrating into the thicker material. So what you can do is set the machine for the thicker material because that's going to be taking the heat and then you kind of direct your arc into the thicker material and watch the edge of the arc and then when you add the filler into the puddle it'll actually you can see it wick up into the thinner material so you're not actually using all that power to penetrate the thinner sheet metal you're using all the power to penetrate the thicker material today we're going to be welding a piece of 3 8 in a fillet configuration to a piece of 090. We're gonna set the machine for the thicker piece of material so we can penetrate this and then we're gonna focus the heat into the thicker piece. What we're gonna change is we're gonna change the balance a little bit to help with the penetration. These two different material thickness, 3 8 and 090, we're gonna run our balance at 30%. We're gonna run square waveform and then we're gonna run our frequency around 130. We're going to turn this machine all the way up. We're going to be at 250 amps so we can penetrate into the 3 8 So we're going to go from a 6 to a 5 and what this is going to do, it's going to help control the, the arc to where I can manipulate it and aim it into the thicker material and not let it heat soak into the 090 as much. The bigger the cup, the, the wider the arc is going to fan out. The bigger the cup, the bigger the weld you're going to do. So running a number 5 cup, I'm able to kind of keep the weld a little bit tighter and this will help me control where the arc's gonna go. So the hardest thing about welding thick to thin material is keeping that consistent torch angle. Once you get the right torch angle, you gotta consistently keep it at the right angle so the heat input's aimed at the thicker material. It can get a little tricky because a lot of people, they, they either roll their wrist or they, they drag their hand. There's like different techniques to kind of like push along the weld. Um, some of them will make it more difficult to keep that heat input pointed at the thicker material. What you're looking for on a thick to thin weld is to make sure that you're penetrating into the, th into the thicker material. The, the toes are all nice and wet along the edge shows that we got a lot of penetration happening here. And then also that the heat input's not blowing through the back. The back side of the weld should have a witness of penetration but not actually burning through. All right guys, I realize this is a short episode but I wanted to clear up the questions we get all the time about the thick to thin aluminum. I hope this helped you guys. This is Mark Winchester from Winchester Metalworks. Weld mean, weld green.